Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome to another video where I do a crazy experiment that may or may not work, and, uh, well, I guess, uh, we ought to just go ahead and give it a try, shall we? Um, back in September of 2020, when I got my, uh, 1984 Montgomery Ward, uh, television set, I had this crazy idea of using it as a computer monitor on my main uh, Windows 10 system. And um, the I did it on camera and the experiment was a success. Well now, about two years later, I want to take that concept and go a little bit further with it. Now um, I've got a different little CRT um, at the moment. The Montgomery Ward TV still working great. I just have it in storage right now because I just wanted to change things up a little bit. This is my uh, dad's old TV that he got for his birthday in 2003. It's a 12-inch um, Toshiba TV with composite inputs and all that good stuff. And so... Um, we're going to uh, not only have this as a monitor, but see that VCR right there? And see this uh, never before used blank VHS tape? Well, we're going to try to record my main computer system onto a VHS tape. And what makes this a little bit more interesting than last time is uh, I was on Windows 10. Now I'm on Windows 11. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to disconnect the HDMI cable from the back of my uh, big screen Dell monitor. And connect it to uh, the HDMI input on this HDMI to composite adapter. And then find some composite cables, which I actually forgot to do, and hook it up to the inputs on the front of the VCR. So one moment while I dig up some cables. Okay, I got I had to borrow some cables off of another device, but there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, connect this to the VCR. If I can uh, obtain access to it with the uh, my phone in the way. I'm going to try from now on to maybe record all my videos with my smartphone now since the quality seem, does seem to be a good bit better. Okay, where did the uh, video go? There we go. And I dropped it. <laughs> Yeah, this is just a cheap adapter from uh, Walmart that I got a couple of years ago. I haven't used it since the initial uh, CRT as a computer monitor video. Okay, now we've got a, some tangled up cords here. <laughs> Now we need to give the adapter some power. I'll just plug it into one of the front USB uh, ports on my computer. And there we go. There's no lights or anything to tell you it's on. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the TV on as well as the VCR. Let me switch it over to uh, the line two. Okay, there's no saying no signal. That's coming from the uh, HDMI adapter. And so let's unplug the HDMI from the back of my monitor, which is going to be oh so fun. There we go. And it's going to be a mess of cables, but this is just an experiment, so here we go. Wow, <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> okay, this is going to be uh, a little bit awkward because I need to set this 
preferably to 640 by 480. And of course, <laughs> being outputted like this is just kind of extremely awkward. Okay, uh, display video. It doesn't help that I rarely change my uh, resolution. References, maybe. This is a bunch of gaming stuff. Um, maybe I go into Windows Display Settings. And it appeared off screen, apparently. Okay. It's just this would be so much easier if I can take the uh, screen resolution down. I'd be able to plug the monitor back up just to uh, do this with. Remember when you could easily access your uh, screen resolution settings? Pepperidge Farm remembers. And keep in mind, this was originally being connected to a 1440p uh, monitor. Something that this little 12 inch television from 2003 is not going to know how to handle. Although, uh, give it credit, it is displaying a picture. We've just got to get it set up properly so it'll look the best. Okay, maybe if I just type in resolution. Custom resolutions, so in order to use the custom resolutions feature, you must read and accept the EU will, the license agreement. Okie dokie. Okay, it's uh. <laughs> Why isn't it showing it? Huh. Well, this has been an entertaining video, hasn't it? <laughs> Yes, I still use the control panel in Windows 11 because um, I'm old-fashioned like that. Okay, display. Is there even still a display icon on here? Okay, <laughs> this is not working out.
Okay, I don't know why display settings aren't coming up. One moment. Okay, I was able to get it down to 800 by 600 at least. Um, it, it just wouldn't uh, take 640 by 480. It kept saying my display was not uh, compatible with that resolution. It actually was running at 1024 by 768 um, earlier when we were tinkering with it on video, but I think 800 by 600 will work because um, it actually still scales everything down properly, so uh, let's just play uh, something off an old VHS tape that I digitized. Uh, oh, let's find uh, maybe this. See, it <laughs> looks looks native, like it's actually uh, being broadcast on TV. And as you can tell, audio is working um, ju just as well. This is from 1989, by the way. With thousands of holiday messages to choose from, Hallmark has a card for everyone on your Christmas list. Johnny, Mr. Johnny, Mr. Okay, um, so now the purpose of this video was actually to um, record all this to a blank VHS tape. This will probably be my first time opening a blank VHS tape in years. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. Still figuring out how this uh, camera works. So, yeah, this is a Scotch VHS tape, I guess from the 90s sometime. Uh, as a copyright of 1992. So, um, and it's worldwide sponsor of Olympic Games. So, let's just peel this. Never been used VHS tape. Mm, smells like uh, early 90s. <laughs> so let's see if we can get this out. Uh, and there's our VHS tape. So we'll go ahead and put it in the VCR. And it's actually been many, many years since I've uh, used this VCR to record stuff. I've been only using it for uh, playback. And if it will focus, that would be great. There we go. All right, let's uh, hit record. Yeah, I think it's actually working. <laughs> okay, this is great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's uh let's find uh some old commercials to play on here. Merry Christmas. Where'd you get the boys? Radio 
Radio Shack's radio control cars, a dual-speed white Tiger Turbo with spring suspension to hug the road, a high-speed golden arrow off-roader with lightning response to leave them in the dust, and a turbocharged Ferrari that will burn up the racetrack. Bob, you got three cars. We only have two boys. Two little boys and one big one. Radio controlled cars from $9.95 to $119.95. Only at Radio Shack, the technology store. Where's the screwdriver? I don't need this aggravation. This mess is making me crazy. <laughs> well, let's see if we can record uh, YouTube. So, have to do <laughs> have to hit the Windows key to actually. Uh, there you can see I, that's what I was <laughs> last uh, searching for on Google uh, 4640 by 480 on Windows 11 so let's get YouTube up here All right, there we go. Here's uh, YouTube. Let's uh, find a YouTube video. Um, I'm sure the Flying Scotsman won't mind if we uh, use one of his videos. Okay. I don't think that's him, but... Uh, Yeah, that's uh, a ah. Here he is. Yeah, Jay. There's several people on YouTube that have the same name as you for some reason. <laughs> let's see. I know it's not Christmas, but let's just try this one. A little bit off center there. Probably just record his intro. Alright, now I don't really have any games installed on here, I would love to try that. Oh gosh, what's my password? Shows you how little I use Steam. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. Uh, let's see, library. Let's try Goat Simulator. Gosh, I haven't played it since Christmas of 2020. this will actually work on such a low resolution, I do not know. What if people actually still play this game regularly? Alrighty. 
everything is actually working. <laughs> Double jump enabled. <laughs> this game is such is the craziest game you could ever imagine. And I love it. <laughs> okay, I've recorded about six minutes of video so far. That's good. This is <laughs> This is incredible. I just enough of that. Okay, he's having to get his head together. We'll try Sonic Mania. Sega! Now this will probably look like a very advanced Sega Genesis uh, on this TV. See, it's over scanned a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, I'm trying to figure, remember what key it is to jump. <laughs> There we go. You know what, I think that's, I think we've recorded enough. Let's stop it at nine minutes. And so uh, let's just go ahead and unplug this and we'll rewind. And see if this actually uh, recorded something. I had it set to EP mode, but oh well, it'll add a little bit more flair to it, I guess. All right, moment of truth. Play button. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I'm so easily amused, folks. I'm just too easily amused. <laughs> uh, and that's me trying to find a video to play. Wow. And still, you can actually see the fuzziness. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. Where'd you get the noise? Radio Shack's radio controlled cars. A dual speed white tiger turbo with spring suspension to hug the road. A high speed. And we can fast forward. <laughs> wow. Let's fast forward that a little bit.
Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's play back Jay's video. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> the quality's actually not that bad, really. It recorded in stereo as well. Of course, this is just a mono TV. Now, in previous years, I've shown off a program called Christmas for Windows. You know what? Just for the fun of it, let's try to play this back in another VCR. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit because my uh, living room TV is a modern day uh, 4K television set. But it does have a JVC VCR connected to it. Built sometime in the early 2000s, I want to say. There it is down there, you can just barely see it. So let's uh, pop this in. Okay, I don't know why it was doing that. All right, and we'll play it back. <laughs> Awful quality. But then again, this is being played back on a 43-inch 4K TV. <laughs> I'm way too amused by this. Fast forward a little bit. <laughs> this is incredible. Sonic Mania. This is a... <laughs> I wasn't sure if this would have been possible or not because of, um... Uh like encryption, HDMI encryption, stuff like that, but hey, it worked. <laughs> This is just, <laughs> this amuses me way more than it should. And there's my Windows desktop there in blurry VHS quality. And that's the end of the tape. Well, I guess that's all there is to show in this video. I hope you found it amuse as amusing as it amused me. 
So, until next time, this is Billy Kaur um, reminding you to keep your cameras safely rolling. And honey, uh, I'm not going to uh, make those references. This is Billy Kaur signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.